This is America. We have the founding fathers that wrote the Constitution that we haven't lived by in 142 years. The founders gave us a tool to fix Washington, D.C. We must use it. Before it is too late you won't hear much about it this coming debate season, when Republican and Democratic presidential contenders take the stage in an attempt to one-up each other on the issues. You won't read about it in the mainstream media, which has its own agenda, and is usually far too occupied with meaningless political minutiae inside the beltway. But the convention of states movement is gaining ground and momentum, as more state legislatures come to realize that solutions to the nation's most pressing problems, such as crippling debt and burdensome, top-down, one-size-fits-all governance will never be solved in Washington. In fact, more states are coming to the realization that Washington is the problem. As noted in a recent email by the Cause Movement, sponsored by an organization called Citizens for Self-Governance, during the Revolutionary War the British, along with most American colonists, got one side of the story in the day's newspapers, during the American Revolution, the British read the papers every day and heard constantly of General Washington's failures. Yet what they did not see was the strategic increase in strength and partnership with foreign nations, that Washington used to lead the colonists to victory against the crown. The same is true today. In the fight for liberty, most of the time the talk among the media elite, which sets the political news agenda for the entire country, seldom harps about loss of liberty, per se, the emphasis the MSM places on the issues of liberty and self-government is that the American citizenry is not capable of saying, and that top-down, big government solutions are the answer. That gives most concerned Americans the impression, that they are losing the fight to regain lost freedoms. But in fact, as the cause movement stated, it is achieving massive victories in the fight for liberty quietly, behind the scenes, and relatively unnoticed save for a few, who are watching the progress. Just this year, we filed the Convention of States application in 34 state legislatures. Of those 34 states, 19 have passed initial committee votes already, after filing, the movement said. Additionally, three state senate chambers and eight house chambers have moved from committee, to passing the application via their respective floor votes thus far. And this progress builds on earlier valiant efforts of activists in Georgia, Alaska, Florida, and just recently Alabama, who have all passed the cost application in both houses. We are achieving victories, but just like General Washington, we will have many battles, before we win the war and return self-governance to the states and our fellow citizens, the organization said, which has just launched a fundraising campaign to raise $100,000 in a bid to prod more states into committing to an Article 5 Convention of States. As we have reported before, the Article 5 state convention process is a constitutional instrument given us by the founders, as a means of states reasserting their sovereignty and authority, when it has been determined that too much power has shifted to the federal government, which is clearly the case today. There are a number of reasons why this shift occurred, but the more important issue now is not, how it happened by how to reverse it. Some have expressed concerns that Article 5 is the same thing as a constitutional convention, but that's incorrect. The Constitution Convention of 1787 was held to write the nation's founding document, which ultimately still had to be sent to the states for ratification. An Article 5 convention of states is different. Individual constitutional amendments are considered on a pre-approved basis and any that are ultimately approved at an Article 5 convention still must be sent to the states, where three-fourths must ultimately ratify. It's a complicated, time-consuming process, but that was by design. And now, early in the 21st century, it has become necessary for us, to utilize this constitutional process for the first time ever, so that states can restore the broken checks and balances within the federal government construct. Washington, D.C., is broken. The federal government is spending this country into the ground, seizing power from the states and taking liberty from the people, says Koss, on its website. It's time American citizens took a stand and made a legitimate effort to curb the power and jurisdiction of the federal government. The founders gave us a tool to fix Washington, D.C. We must use it before it is too late. 
We agree. We realize talking about the Constitution isn't much in vogue today among most elected leaders and the media, unless it is invoked to push some special interest social agenda. But it's all we have standing between we the people and big government tyranny, and you should never doubt there are those in power, who would utterly gut it if they could. We have a process, whereby we can prevent that. We should use it. Don't forget to follow Tattoo1009.com on Facebook, and Twitter, and YouTube, and to the motion and stumble upon please help spread the word by sharing our articles on your favorite social networks. Go to the links in the below section for updates every day. From my cold dead hands abolish the corporate government.